good morning. It's day five. Um, tried to get up a little bit earlier this morning, not as early as we wanted to, but we have basically two passes and about 24, 25 miles to do to get back to town, to East Glacier. Um, and in between we have East Med, our two medicine, which is kind of a little like resort thing. So I think the plan is to take off here in a second. We're going to get up and over the first pass, stop and get a sandwich at two medicine, and then up and over the second pass to get into East Glacier by the time it gets too late. Um, kind of chilly this morning. And uh, I'm definitely still tired from yesterday. <laughs> Good morning from East Glacier. So uh, two days ago, we ended up hiking into East Glacier, finishing the first like 98 miles of the trail. Um, and yesterday we took a zero. I totally forgot to film anything, mainly because I was hanging out with other hikers and having a good time. I just switched out my hoodie. So for some of you that don't know, I've actually been testing um, a prototype hoodie. Um, got five days on it, found some things I didn't really like about it, some things about the fabric that need to change. You can see a little bit of wear and tear there. Um, so I'm sending this back, and luckily I brought my OR hoodie with me, so I'm going to swap this out and rock this for like the next week until a new prototype can get to me. Juice just flew in last night to meet up with us. You guys might remember Juice from my Colorado Trail hike last year. Um, he just flew in and we are about to hike out and start the Bob Marshall Wilderness. Either we're going to start it today or it's going to be tomorrow. Regardless, um, we are walking out of Glacier. Got everything packed up, resupplied, got some good rest, ate some good food, about to hike out with some two good friends and experience another awesome section of the CDT. A little thick today, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How random is that? Like bust down a branch, there's a half-eaten squirrel up in a tree that's been turned inside out. <laughs> Off and rolling this morning. Uh, last night we camped at mile 125, so I'm officially past the first 100 miles of the CDT. Pretty awesome. Um, juice is just up in front of me and geared up is just behind me. And this morning just kind of cruising through this little valley. Uh, tons of beautiful 
wildflowers everywhere, uh, kind of looking out for bears. And uh, it looks like it's going to be kind of overcasty. It might rain today. Uh, I think the plan today is to do a bit of a bigger day. Um, it's kind of a little bit of a flat stretch. Might have a climb towards the end of the day. Um, but yeah, feeling good. Instantly this morning, I had a stream crossing after putting on wet, cold socks from the night before. But uh, that's just part of it. So wet, cold socks straight into wet, cold water, wet, cold water, wet water. Believe that. Um, but they're starting to dry out. And uh, yeah, today looks like it's going to be a pretty one. Whew. This section is, well, terrible, terrible. It is a uh, super buggy. I don't know if you can hear all the flies that are buzzing around us. And uh, all the weeds are kind of up past our, uh, our waist, at least our knees. Um, you know, definitely going southbound, I guess early. I, it's not early, but I guess it's early for people being out on these trails. Um, they were just covered in such thick weeds. So we've just been trudging through that. Started getting pretty hot, humid, and the flies are just, whew, bad. Today, started out real pretty, started out real nice. Nice little ridge walk. And uh, you know, it's kind of getting um, sucky. <laughs> but, stopped and uh, got some water. Looks like it's kind of getting a little overcasty, so some of that heat might go away. And just gonna keep rolling, catch up with the uh, the crew that are up there somewhere. They decided to take an alternate, a shortcut, if you will. I did not take the ridge, so we're behind a little bit. All right, so I think there used to be a big sign that hung here that said Bob Marshall Wilderness, because you can see the little forest symbol there. So I think this is the start of the Bob. Hooray. So, we ended up doing about 28 miles today, and then stopped here at this creek, uh, which I'm sure you can hear that. Right next to the creek, nice little camp spot. Um, definitely a tough day. The trail was really overgrown with a lot of weeds, super buggy, pretty usual. Um, I'm pretty sure Montana is the buggiest state that I've ever hiked through. Um, and now we are officially in the Bob Marshall Wilderness. So tomorrow we have about six miles from here to an alternate that we're actually going to take. Um, it is one of the, the handful of alternates along the CDT. You can either choose to kind of do a high route or a low route. Uh, I believe they're both high routes. Um, they're just kind of different passes. But we're going to take this one. Um, just because it kind of gets us a little bit closer to the next stop, next resupply, which is Benchmark Ranch, uh, where I shipped a box to. So, um, 
geared up, gets off the trail tomorrow. So we are actually going to part ways and he's going to start hiking back to East Glacier from here. And then Juice and I are headed further into the Bob. Um, I guess the next stop is the Chinese Wall. Whatever that means. I'm still not 100% sure what that is. And then he plans on getting off in Lincoln, which I'm going to be popping down to Lincoln to resupply and probably to take another zero. You know, on this hike, I really want to make sure I'm taking advantage of zeros, letting my body rest. So that is the plan. But overall, hard day, long day, but good day. Time to uh, get some shut eye. I'm not mad that we slept an extra hour. Mm. I'm quite happy with it, yeah. actually. I needed it bad. I woke up to you setting down my uh, food bag. Oh, it's him. Oh, it was? Yeah. So I woke up when he did it, and I was like, oh, shit. And I looked at my watch, like, 6 o'clock. Like, it's been an hour. I thought it had been, like, five minutes. Morning. So... Looks like we just got into the big blowdown section of the trail. Um, warming up a little bit already. So, uh, shed this jacket. But regardless, we are off and rolling this morning. Um, I think we got a few more miles left until we hit the alternate we're going to take through the bob. Um, Apparently, it's supposed to have a few more blowdowns than the regular section, but blowdowns are blowdowns, I guess. I think they're supposed to be bad, regardless of which way you take. Uh, <laughs> um, they'll be there regardless. Yeah, they'll be there regardless. Uh, geared up, split from us this morning, and he is hiking back into East Glacier, so he's basically just backtracking. And then me and this feller are going to keep heading through the bob. The plan, I think, today is to hike, I don't know, 25-ish, 25-ish maybe, and we'll be camping somewhere on the alternate, and then tomorrow, I think we hit the, uh, the infamous or famous or whatever you want to call it, uh, Chinese Wall, so that should be interesting. Not tomorrow, that's after the, it's after benchmark, isn't it? No, I think it's tomorrow. Oh, it's right before on. benchmark. Oh, all right. Yeah. Cool. So, so that'll be fun. We don't really know. We don't really know what's going on out here. <laughs> Just we'll kind of going point. with it. But regardless, hopefully it'll be a good day, and uh, hopefully it won't be so harsh with all these blowdowns and heat and everything else, bugs, weeds, you know, Bobby kind of stuff. Ready? Ready, ready. Currently headed up there. Tortilla, peanut butter, and pretzels. Yum! 
Lunchtime. So, after doing a really long, exposed, hot hike up uh, this pass, we finally got to the top and there's a big, beautiful lake. What's it called again? Dean Lake. Dean Lake. Um, and ooh, it's freezing cold, mainly because there's still a lot of snow around it. So I guess all that stuff's melting into the lake. But had a nice dip, now sitting down to eat some lunch. Gonna eat some high calorie crap, stuff my face with it, take a little siesta, put my feet up. And then we're gonna end up having about mm, 10 miles left of the day. Uh, I think it'll end up being about a 25 mile day total. And then tomorrow, we should only have about nine miles left of this alternate, and we'll meet back up with the uh, traditional CDT route. So, good day, I guess, so far. Uh, at least a good lunch, um, but definitely tough. Definitely tough. The Bob, ooh, da Bob, da Bob is tough. to another day on the CDT. Um, honestly, I don't even know what day it is. I think it's day nine, maybe? Might be day nine. Um, and we ended up doing a bit of a smaller day than we had hoped for. I think we ended up doing like 23, 23 and a half. Um, and we were kind of shooting for a 25, but we got here to this amazing camp spot that is right next to this old forest service cabin. So um, utilize that for dinner and to prop my legs up for the night to get a little healing going on. The bob has just been, uh, been gorgeous. Hard, but rewarding. Uh, the juice is worth the squeeze, as it were. <laughs> All right, it's time to uh, get some shut-eye because tomorrow morning I'm gonna wake up and do an early day.